Welcome back. This Saturday marks the 20th anniversary of the terror attacks on the World Trade Center and other locations on September 11th, 2001. Former Secretary of Transportation Ray LaHood joining us now live in the studio to share his experiences while in the nation's capital the day of those attacks. And of course, you were a congressman back then. Um, what was it like when all this news started breaking and things started going crazy? Well, I was to chair the House that day and I was walking across from my office in the Longworth building to the Capitol. I saw a plane flying around and I thought, this is weird because it's not a flight pattern and there are no planes allowed around the Capitol. I went in the Capitol and the Capitol Hill police were yelling, to everyone get out, get out. We think there's a plane coming to hit the Capitol. We stood on the front lawn of the Capitol for several hours. Our phones were disabled and so we had really no idea what was going on. About 20 or 30 minutes after coming out of the Capitol, standing on the front lawn, we heard the huge sonic boom of the plane that went around looking for the White House, trying to crash into the White House, missed the White House and went on to the Pentagon and boom, crashed into the Pentagon, 140 people were killed. And then we saw the plume of smoke coming up uh, from the Pentagon as we were on the on the lawn of, of the Capitol. It, it was an extraordinary day. And for me, it was an extraordinary day because I, I was serving on the Intelligence Committee and we had no idea there were four terrorists living in Florida, taking flying lessons and, and ready to attack our country. And so for me personally, it was, it was devastating to think that 3,000 Americans were killed and we knew nothing about these terrorists being in America. It changed the country, it changed the world, it changed travel, it changed uh, everything. It sure did, and uh, speaking of changes, after that, uh, you know, going into Afghanistan, we get the Patriot Act, uh, the things that we're doing to try and not only keep ourselves safe, but bolster our confidence, I guess, again in the country that it can defend itself. What do you think about those changes that we've seen in the last 20 years? I think the changes for travel are very good. The TSA didn't exist before 9-11. Now the TSA exists, people are screened. Now people have assurances when they get on a plane, it's gonna be safe. They're gonna get where they wanna go uh, safely. I think that part was good. Putting 22 agencies together under the Department of Homeland Security, which did not exist before 9-11, I think it was good. I think establishing an agency over the CIA and other intelligence was too much bureaucracy, and I voted against that. I didn't think the department uh, that they put above all the other intelligence agency, I think it created a lot of bureaucracy and, uh, and kind of muddled things up. And, uh, and a lot of things were enhanced on the intelligence committee too, so we were you know, getting better intelligence. So many good things uh, took place, uh, and um, uh, I, I, you know, we, we learned a, a lot of lessons. We were talking during the break about how America kind of banded together after that uh, day. And for a while, people weren't concerned with race or religion or anything. They were right. concerned about being an American. Right. 20 years later, uh, it seems we're like we're so in a divided. worse spot we were before 9-11. We're so divided. Our country is divided. But one thing, Mark, on the day after 9-11, we were, anybody that was in D.C. was asked to gather on the Capitol steps, on the Senate side. Uh, Tom Daschle was the majority leader. Denny Hastert was the speaker. They both gave speeches, and what they said is, we're going back into session. This will not shut down the government. This will not, we're, Congress is not closed. We're gonna continue to, to move ahead. And immediately following those speeches, all of the members of Congress, both Senate and House, broke out in God Bless America. Yeah. And it was an extraordinary moment of unity for our country and sent a message that America is gonna uh, fight this, we're not gonna let our guard down, we're gonna keep moving ahead. And America was really together during that moment. Sure was. Well, we appreciate your insight. I wish we had time to talk more. I know you've got more stories, but uh, thanks for coming in. Thank appreciate you. It.